One of the ways to access data is via REST services. Nyman Analytics Platform supports accessing data via a REST interface through the GET request and POST request nodes. The GET request node sends a GET request to a REST service and the POST request node sends a POST request to a REST service. A GET request triggers a simple service that doesn't change the underlying data, such as search service. A POST request usually triggers a more complex service that might change the data, as when you access protected information when all auth authorization is required. In this video, we show how to use the GET request node to retrieve data from a REST service. Say you want to access the Google Maps Geocoding REST API to extract the latitude and longitude of a specific city, for example, Constance in Germany, where Naim is located. If you go to the documentation of the Google Maps Geocoding REST API, you can see that the service accepts requests in this format. Here the geocoordinates are requested using the address as a parameter. In our example, we will be using city and country as parameters. No API key or other credential is required, which makes things easier. The response of the service is JSON formatted. It returns the latitude, longitude, name, and other information of the selected location. In Nime Analytics Platform, I have a workflow ready to go for this task. With this workflow, we build a REST request for a city in accordance with the documentation of the Google Maps Geocoding REST API. A string of this form will be used by the GET request node to send the request to the REST service for the city of Constance in Germany. We have two options. Let's see the first one. We hard code the request string in the GET request node. In the Connection Settings tab, we find the settings related to the request URL. Here goes the hard coded request URL. With the delay checkbox, you can specify a delay between two consecutive requests. The concurrency parameter regulates the number of concurrent requests. The parameter ignore hostname mismatches and trust all certificates allow you to define the certificate's trust policy. The fail on connection problems and fail on HTTP errors checkboxes set preferences for the node behavior in case of error. If the follow redirects checkbox is checked, the node will allow the URL redirection. The timeout spinner set the timeout for a single request in seconds. In the body column field, you specify the name of the response body column in the output table. In the Authentication tab, we set the authorization parameters. As I said before, no authorization is required for this service, so authorization is set to none. In this tab, we can define request headers, if the service requires them in the request. The Google Geocoding service does not require any request header. In the next tab, we can define the headers to be returned in the response object. If we execute the GET request node, we get a JSON structure as a response. Which can be passed with the JSON node in order to extract latitude, longitude and the location name. After a bit of data cleaning and coloring, we can locate the city on the map with the NIME OpenStreetMaps integration. So far, so good. However, hard coding things may not be a good idea. So let's try the second option. Here we feed the location parameters, city name and country, into the input port. We write them in a table creator node, build the get request URL around those parameters, and feed this URL into the get request node. We change the configuration of the get request node to accept request URLs from the input port instead of using hard coded URLs. Everything else stays the same. Now let's execute this workflow. 
They get requests, send the same request and get back the same geolocation information as in the previous example. But now the city and country parameters for a new request can be changed in the table creator node, which is less error prone than changing them inside the URL string of the get request node. Flexibility is not the only advantage of the second approach. Let's suppose that we have a list of cities for which we need coordinates. For example, let's add the top 10 most populated cities in the world in the table creator node. Let's run the workflow. For each of the input data rows, a GET request is sent to the service. The service returns a JSON response with geolocation information including latitude and longitude for each city.